this is not gonna be your average dry fire video. What we are gonna do is save you all the basic firearm fundamentals that honestly you should have down by now if you are taking on the vast responsibility of carrying concealed. What we are gonna do in this video is show five real life scenarios that actually went down and were caught on tape, and then we're gonna run drills based on those scenarios in order to put you at an advantage if you are ever unlucky enough to be faced with one of these situations. And make sure you stick around for the last drill because there is definitely no one on YouTube preparing for this kind of gut-wrenching scenario that we're about to run a drill for. Obviously, I'm not Frogman Tactical. Jason's currently out of town right now running a training class. However, these are all skills that I've learned from him during the past year while I've been filming all of his videos. Let's get right into it. As you saw in this clip, the dogs alerted the homeowner of an intruder, so luckily he had a brief notice to pull out a CCW before engaging the intruder. Even with that though, you can see how fast these situations actually go down, and that will be a trend to take note of in all of these situations. In order to set up these drills, you're gonna need four things. Your CCW with an IWB holster, a laser round, and a dry fire app. Today I'm using the P365XL, a CYA holster that was made right here in San Antonio, the Defentech laser round that's under 20 bucks on Amazon, I'll have that link below in the description, and the Laser Hit app with a printable target, which is a free download that not only tracks shock placement, but also tracks your shot times. In this drill, I'm not gonna factor in the lucky warning from the dogs in the video, so we'll just start off holstered. The main thing I wanna emphasize on this situation is the fact that the victim was retreating as soon as all of this unfolded. Keep in mind that a CCW should only be used in self-defense. Therefore, you should eliminate the threat to save your life as well as others at the same time as getting away from the threat. If you are advancing for any reason other than finding cover, that will only give you a better chance of number one, taking a round from the active shooter, and number two, give the appearance in the court of law that you are in fact assaulting rather than defending. So, as you can see, I am retreating at the same time as drawing and firing. No one in their right mind is gonna stand in one spot out in the open if this kind of situation was actually going down. So honestly, what's the point of standing in one spot while training? Speaking of being completely exposed out in the open for everyone to see, what are you doing to keep your personal information safe online? Just the other day, I Googled my personal phone number and I saw it exposed by multiple websites, just sitting there for anyone to find if they wanted to. No wonder I've been getting so many spam calls. What are you doing to keep your personal information safe online? That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle it for you. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't even see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. You can either let people continue to exploit and profit off your private information, or you can try Aura free for two weeks using Jason's link, aura.com forward slash frogman, to start your two week free trial, also linked below in the description. Now let's get back to this next scenario. Let's give this guy a hand for that insane reaction time and ability to assess the situation as it was happening and to take out two separate gunmen. This only drives home the point that if you are not carrying with one in the pipe, you are only setting yourself up for failure. For this drill, we're gonna be drawing from a seated position. For me, this requires a slight holster adjustment when sitting down to direct my gun at an angle that I can get a good grip on. After getting three rounds on your first target, switch to target number two, which for me is this Christmas mouse. Yes, I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but I swear, you leave your wife unsupervised for one day and you'll come back and the entire house looks like a winter wonderland. Let me know in the comments if your wife also calls you a Grinch too. As you can see in this video, the attacker comes up to the window to try robbing the would-be victim before getting his own ticket punched in the process. 
The biggest tip that Jason taught me for carrying a car is actually tucking your seatbelt behind your gun, which will not only help you draw easier and more consistently, but it will also help save your guts in the event of a car crash. This situation happens to take place at a checkout counter, but it can happen anywhere that your back is turned, whether that be at a bank or an ATM or anywhere else that honestly you could just be easily distracted. We're gonna run this drill both from the left and the right. And we're gonna run different variations as well, starting from the hands up as well as the hands down. And now for the scenario that as a father would be one of my absolute worst nightmares. The one thing that I know for absolute certain is that in this situation, even if the attacker only wants my wallet, there is no way in hell I will drop my daughter. Some of y'all might wanna argue that you could put the child down and be able to have a better chance at eliminating the threat, but in that moment, you actually don't know if this is a simple robbery or a strategic child abduction attempt with someone waiting to grab the child the second you put them down. For this reason, one of the things I do while holding my toddler, I only hold her on the left side and I always grip her leg. The thought process behind this has a few reasons. Number one, she won't be sitting there kicking my gun as we're walking. Number two, she won't accidentally lift my shirt and flash my CCW to the public. And number three, and most importantly, so that way my firearm is still accessible. This drill also forces you to become proficient with drawing one-handed. So even if you don't have small children, it can be altered to simulate drawing while pushing someone away, or if your arm has gotten injured and disabled in the scuffle. As stated before, if you carry concealed, you are taking on a massive responsibility that often gets overlooked. Many people fail to train consistently, whether that be due to complacency, negligence, or just straight up ego. But the fact of the matter is that as a CCW holster, it is your duty to run drills and stay active with your training. And while dry fire training is good, it absolutely does not replace live fire training. All these drills should be taken to the range as soon as you feel proficient running them dry. However, for obvious reasons, alter the last drill. You don't wanna be the dude on the range running around holding your baby on your hip because the cameraman on YouTube said to. I know that this was a different style of video, but Jason will be back soon, so thanks for hanging in there with me and watching in the meantime. As always, have a good day and God bless. <laughs>